Hello people, welcome to Cycling Tips, welcome to yet more Tour de France coverage. I am here outside the Intermarche, Monte Gobert team truck. Here we have Louis Menkes, is that how you pronounce it? I'm terrible as you know. All new Lightning TE bike from Cube. With a very long train passing by. I'd wait, but we're in a rush. They need to get these bikes back. That's right, we have got the latest cube that the guys will be riding this at this year's Tour de France. Shall we delve in, check out what's new, what this unreleased bike is all about, and see what gear they are using for the 2022 Tour de France. Also, we've been, uh, or there's been lots of improvements in uh, the tires we use. So yeah, mostly tubeless, and uh, yeah, I'm really quite a big fan of it. Like I can, or I think there's quite a bit of improvement in grip and comfort, and uh, yeah, for me that's really important to feel uh, safe in the corners and the downhills. So yeah, and actually, I'm I've swapped mostly to the 28 now because I also feel yeah more comfortable and more safe uh, with the, the slightly bigger wheel and uh, yeah I'm also quite happy that uh, now we're riding quite lower pressures than in the past because yeah in the past uh, the mechanics and yeah most of the, the people around cycling always believed yeah pump your tires as hard <laughs> as they can where now we ride quite low pressures which yeah I think firstly it's actually faster if the road is not 100% smooth so and yeah it's more safe more comfortable and uh, yeah I just feel better in the corners and uh, what yeah. sort of pressure are you running then do you know uh, not exactly but I think the road bikes around six six bars or slight even slightly less yeah in trading I even ride as low as four and three bars and I still feel no reason to pump them so <laughs> it's probably not the safest because yeah if you hit something really big in the road then uh, yeah maybe it's stand the chance of damaging the wheel or uh, yeah just uh, getting a puncture but yeah like these tires with the tubeless I actually think you're pretty safe going down to three bars even so yeah that's good and then yeah we also switched over to the 12 speed which is uh, yeah it's quite nice uh, also I think the braking is slightly improved from uh, from the year before and yeah we have ceramic speed with a new fancy uh, <laughs> aero derailers which uh, mostly just look quite cool I haven't uh, <laughs> tested them so much that I can say they're a definite definite improvement but yeah definitely looks cool and uh, yeah they say technically it should should help and uh, save a few watts yeah save a few watts that's always good for your mind if you know you've got it on your bike and you're suffering then uh, <laughs> then it's good to know you've got everything working in your advantage and uh, What's your, what's your gear setup? What what do you what do you run usually on the climbing bike? I most of the time ride with a 54 in the front and a 39, and in the back I think it's 1130. Yeah, normally I don't uh, to worry too much. I quite insist on having the the 54 on the because yeah most guys are riding it now and uh, if there's a really fast section and you're still on the 53 then uh, you can get in trouble and. Uh, if you can't stay on the wheel at that speed, it's a hard gap to close. So <laughs> that's one thing that's uh, quite important. And uh, yeah, but even for super light gears, there's not so many days we use it. It's more in the Vuelta or somewhere where you get the ridiculous climb <laughs> at the at the end. But yeah, we're also racing as fast as we can. So yeah, most of the time a 30-39 is uh, enough. And uh, now you've got you got uh, Taco on the team, Mr. Well, I would say Techhead, isn't he? Because yeah. have you taken any cues from him? Because he's the man with the narrow, narrow bars in the peloton. And yeah, yeah, it's always good to to run ideas by him. Uh, he normally knows the answer already. So yeah, it's good to yeah just for yeah deciding which uh, skin suit you ride on the day, what helmet you use, and. Uh, 
and those kind of things. So yeah, it's definitely helpful to have someone with that knowledge. So you're not running 38 bars or 36 bars? Yeah, well, I actually, I actually went down uh, one size. I was, I think I'm on 38 now. I was previously on 40. So yeah, or, already that change we made to yeah, it helps a little bit with aerodynamics and. It feels good and it uh, also actually helps with positioning in the bunch. Uh, if uh, you can squeeze through a smaller gap, it uh, also helps you. So, yeah. Yeah, one thing I can also mention is uh, I'm quite happy with the saddles we have, the uh, Prologo saddles, because, yeah, in the past, I've, uh, during the season, I have to swap out saddles quite a few times because they start to wear out, where I can't really tell the difference between an old and a new saddle with the, the Prologo. So, yeah, for that, just to keep your bike exactly the same and your position and stuff, it, it helps if you just set it up once. Are you one of them riders here, millimetre perfect? Yeah, well I've definitely changed saddles because I felt like uh, I was sitting lower and lower and lower or and then I measured exactly the same with a new saddle and then I feel like oh, I'm sitting quite a bit higher. It's not that I'm so fussy about it, but yeah, it, uh, it's quite annoying if you have to do it, <laughs> so yeah. Like, if it feels slightly higher normally, I just, because otherwise you're going to end up moving the saddle lower and lower every time you change. There we have it, the new bag from Cube that the team will be using throughout the race. We have seen it before at a couple of races, but this is the, the first real showing of it. Got to say, I'm loving the paint job. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Join the conversation. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching and enjoy the Tour de France.